Okay, so this is a tutorial on Unity's Collaborate. Collaborate is the old system that's going away in favor of plastic. There's another video on this channel for plastic. Uh, since plastic's the only thing that'll really be relevant from 2022 on. Uh, so let's take a look. If you don't have Collaborate, it'll be under version control. I need to update this package actually. Uh, which already says Collaborate or Plastic SCM. Um, again, Collaborate's going away in favor of Plastic. Plastic's okay now. Uh, as of 2021.3, I think it's pretty stable, but it really had a lot of issues before. But anyway, Collaborate, the nice stable system for all versions of Unity that 2021.3 and before, I probably wouldn't use this for 2022, they're trying to migrate everybody, uh, is pretty easy to use. In fact, I think it's a lot easier to use, uh, but that's okay. If we go to Window, Window Collaborate, you'll get this window on the corner. I tend to put this up here. You'll need to set a project ID, which means you'll have, need to have a Unity ID already set up. I'm going to set it to simply be my organization, CFS here and we create a project ID. Uh, this should only take a few seconds, and then you press the off button, which is a little confusing at times. You press the off button in order to turn it on. This is going to index your entire project for source control. Source control is basically a time machine. Uh, it's getting mad at me because the organization has migrated I may not be able to make this work properly, but that's okay. It's going to fight with me for, for a little bit. Uh, this is why this video is in the old, deprecated, outdated versions. See, we have all of these pluses. These means th that these are things that have been added since the last push. You publish or push your changes to the source control, essentially the time machine. And if you want to save on the cloud, the way that we are, the way that source control does, similar to Git. You put something in for your summary. For the first one, I usually do some kind of initial commit, and then you press this publish button. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm actually going to be able to press this button uh, because of these errors, but you'll be able to do it just fine. The history will, if it works, show you everything that is currently available to you, all of your previous cloud saves, and you can go backwards at any time. Forwards can be a little bit more dangerous, but if you need to make a change, something really catastrophic happened, you have this time machine with multiple points. When you're dealing with source control, only the most recent um, archive or the most recent push is the one repo, is what they usually call it in Git and Plastic, uh, is the one that counts against your storage space, because the others are just kind of um, text objects of changes that were made. So those aren't too bad. Um, so this can be really useful to make sure you never lose any work and you never perform some operation that breaks your project. Looks like I'm going to have to turn off Collaborate here, but you get the idea. And if they haven't migrated you like they have me, uh, this will still be useful to you. But I do recommend that you learn plastic as soon as possible. This is mostly for my students in my class who may not have made the switch yet. So check out the other video and check out the video on occlusion culling if you have not already, which is what this scene is from.